Oceanarium in Kiev, Ukraine. Well, I'm at the Oceanarium in Kiev, and there's no flash, so we'll see how that looks on my camera here. Now be sure to hit that subscribe button. That encourages me to keep making more videos like this. Now, I don't know too much about salt water, but I'll give you what I have. I'll give you what information I have, what I know. The uh, little uh, angelfish looking there, fish there are called uh, mono fish or mono angelfish. And everything I say about salt water, you kind of got to take with a grain of salt. Always an educated guess on my part there. But I do my best. And we've got a school of look downs here. So shiny, they look like they're made out of aluminum foil. And the shiny side too, not the uh, not the dull side. Very pretty fish. Moving on now to some green moray eels. They look kind of yellow, but these are green moray eels. There's actually a wide variety of color potential in this particular species, as far as I know. And we've got a school of fox face there, the yellow ones with the black face. Got some lionfish hanging out up at the top. Trigger fish in the back. big puffer fish. Saltwater, of course. And here comes a yellow-tailed Poma angelfish. Just about to swim up here and say hello. Look at that. Now that's a good-looking fish there. I like that. If I did saltwater, I'd have to consider that guy. Got a tank of yellow tangs. It's going to take us back to the fresh water and Oscar tank. A lot of good looking Oscars in this tank. Got some silver dollars, a Severum. At least I'm pretty sure it's a Severum. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Freshwater stingray. Freshwater stingray belly. There's the Severum. At least I think he's a Severum. I've never seen one so big. But he's a nice looking fish. I love those Oscars. Got a tank of blood parrots. Seems like they're kind of wasted on this tank. Big empty space in the middle so you get up to the silver arowan at the top. They're much smaller than they look in that glass. The glass makes them look bigger. They're nice looking fish though. They're in good shape. A lot of wasted space in that tank though. On to the catfish tank. Got some Hong Kong catfish in there. Those guys are a solid three feet long at least. They're just massive. You got a big stingray on the bottom. You got a black knife fish in the back. On the right hand side there you can't see it but there was a red tailed catfish. And then we've got the ultimate, ultimate African cichlid tank. This thing is massive. Variety's okay. I'd like to see it mixed up a little more, but then again, I'm not I'm not good at which ones can go with which, so this may be as good as they can get. I don't know, but still some neat fish, and what a great tank, just massive. And on over to a lot of people's favorites. The, uh, the piranha tank. Anybody want to go swimming? Unfortunately, piranha don't do a whole lot. This is actually pretty active for a piranha tank. Most of the ones I've seen that are big like this, they just pretty much sit like that all day long. Kind of dull. Although I sure would love to see what feeding time looks like there. Then we got a, a really pretty tank full of, uh, I'd say, shoot close to a thousand uh, a 
thousand uh, cardinal tetras in there, along with several hundred uh, rummy nose tetras. The ones that are schooling and heading to the left there, those are all rummy nose. They tend to school really tight together. A really neat sand waterfall. I might have to do that in one of my tanks. That is probably the most cardinal tetras I've ever seen anywhere. Looks like a live planted tank. Rummy nose tetras are on my to, to, to get list. Now we have the, uh, the discus tank. And if you look in the back there on the bottom, I'm just a little to the right, I missed a uh, stingray down there. Hidden in, the, hidden in the back, just blended in. Of course, those are three uh, clown loaches. Nice looking discus. And if you look, you see uh, little dots all over the background of this tank and on the glass as well. There are thousands of snails in there, and I'm sure that those three clown loaches are in there just to eat the snails, as they're notorious for eating snails. Those snails won't stand a chance with those fish in there. Last time they had a better variety of uh, discus. This time they're all about the same color. Yeah, we got some sort of crocodilian here. I'd say some kind of caiman, but that's just a guess. Right on over to the saltwater stingrays, waving hello at us. Pretty cool. Yeah, I got a few more little uh, saltwater tanks there, different corals in there. If those were freshwater fish, I'd swear they were pipe fish, but I know they're not, so I have no idea what those are. They're interesting, though. Here we've got some long fin banner fish or pennant coral fish, I think. But I do know they're very nice looking fish. It looks like they get along with each other really nicely, too. There's an orange angelfish on the left in the back. So of course he goes right into the darkness when we want to try to film him. Now we've got the ultimate glowfish tank. That is fresh water, made up to look a little bit like uh, salt water with the fake corals in there. Mostly those are white skirt tetras that have been altered to, uh, to be different colors, but I also see some uh, long fin zebra danios in there. Actually really nice looking, but uh, I avoid those kind of fish myself. Back to the catfish tank, you can see the black knife fish in the back really nicely. Black knife fish actually has a, a minor electrical charge to it, so I've been told. Don't really want to find out for myself. the ultimate fish tank oh my goodness this is perfect if it was fresh water and in my house although my house would have to be bigger love tanks like this I'd never leave this room in my house pretty sure that's a leopard shark and those might be moonfish perhaps but they're cool, whatever they are. What an awesome view. And I think these are called Sergeant Majors. They fill the tank up much nicer than the, uh, than the blood parrots. They spread out a lot better. These are the goldfish. They used to be in the uh, sergeant, Ma or the uh, I'm sorry, they used to be in the blood parrot tank. They filled it out much better than the uh, blood parrots do, but I guess they decided to mix it up, change it out. Of course, there's some black mollies in there, some orange mollies variety, and then on to the koi tank. 
Last time I was here, the koi tank had uh, some much bigger koi, and the water was much more polluted looking, so I guess they got rid of the big ones to uh, make it easier to maintain. Although it kind of loses something, I think, with uh, just smaller koi, because I've got goldfish that are that big. And then the black tip reef sharks, those things look fantastic. Really healthy looking fish. Nice sized tank. They seem to be uh, in really good shape here. I don't know anything about keeping sharks, but that looks like a good place to keep them if, you, if that's your thing. to another circular tank with a, another lionfish in there. That might be a butterfly fish. And that's definitely a beautiful puffer fish. A couple more freshwater stingrays. I would like to see these guys in a slightly bigger tank or much bigger tank. And another moray eel, a different variety. Not familiar with this one. Great colors, though. And then on to the uh, the jellyfish tank. These guys look really nice. They actually have two jellyfish tanks, but the other one they didn't look so good, so uh, I just left that one out and just filmed this one. This one looks really nice. the other side of that uh, that reef tank I was telling you about when we first came in. More of the mono angel fish. Looks like a fox face fish to the left we just barely saw. There's a sergeant major with the stripes. Looks almost like a convict back there. And finally, the big top, the top of the big tank that you walk through. Oh man, what a great, great place to, uh, to have a tank. So hey, everybody, hit that subscribe button. Glad you came along, and uh, there's still more videos to come after this.